Despite restrictions finally being lifted after more than a year of isolation and wearing masks, many people still feel tremendous burnout in their life with everything still out of balance and pushed to the edge. But a social worker and teacher at Stanford University says there are things you can do right now to help you climb out of that burnout and balance your life again. Some of the signs of burnout look a lot like workaholism, um, where we're driven to work more and more and kind of the more anxious we get, we throw ourselves into work and start to neglect um, the other components of our life. Dr. Leah Weiss is a social work therapist and teacher at Stanford Graduate School. She says after a year of this pandemic, burnout looks different for each person, depending on where you are in the spectrum. Early burnout can look like working more and more, middle burnout, a lot of uh, cynicism, a lot of feeling like you can't make any changes in your environment. And then um, high in the burnout spectrum, it, there's different profiles, but it can look like depression or anxiety and it can lead to a complete collapse. And burnout is on the rise, possibly due to companies eliminating positions, employees doing more work than before, and finding it difficult to balance their life. So Weiss says employers need to check on their employees' personal well-being. Encourage your people to take their time off. We are all running on empty. That is going to be huge. And she recommends managers must model the behavior and walk the walk. Are you emailing people all hours of the, the night and on weekends? Are you showing people that you value sustainable approaches to work? Or are you burning yourself out and showing everyone that's your expectation for them? And Weiss believes the work setting must change for good. I'm really an advocate of compassion and humanizing the workplaces, not just because it's a nice thing to do, which it is, but because it also leads to better outcomes for your organization. You'll have people who are more committed, who care more, who work um, with more productivity and engagement. Now, back in 2019, Weiss co-founded Skylight, a company that uses neuroscience and behavior change to empower leaders and managers in preventing burnout for themselves and their team. And they developed a resilience quiz that's free. That only takes about two minutes to help identify your strengths and risks. For more information on that, we've included a link to our website at abcactionnews.com slash rebound.